Today we're looking at an awesome travel trailer. If you're new to the RV lifestyle, this Grand Surveyor gives you some luxury, gives you a lot of amenities, but it's also easy for new RVers to be introduced to the RV lifestyle in a travel trailer this size. I'm excited to show you the inside, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me here today. And a big shout out to Forest River. They invited us to their facility to show us some of the newest RVs they have because there are no RV shows this year. And how else are you gonna see these RVs? So big shout out to Forest River. This Grand Surveyor to me is a great RV for new RVers because travel trailers are pretty easy to tow. A lot of people already have a truck able to tow an RV like this and it's big enough for a family to enjoy a trip out in nature. I'm gonna show you the inside, but first let's look around outside. This Grand Surveyor is 31 feet and eight inches long. It has a 40 gallon fresh tank, a 40 gallon gray tank, and a 30 gallon black water tank, and it weighs approximately 6,000 pounds. So it's not gonna have the biggest tanks in the world, but the tank size is definitely gonna allow you to get off grid if you want to, camp for five days or so before you have to break, to break camp and dump your tanks. So as we work our way around the outside of this Grand Surveyor, this is the business side. That means that's where you're, you're gonna have all the hookups. The wastewater is there at the bottom. You got fresh water connection. You got the electrical connection. All of the stuff is easy to access so you can set up camp, whether you're at an RV park or just at a dump station easy to get to those things. And also on this back side, it's nice to see that there's a spare tire because a lot of RVs these days don't come with a spare tire, much less a place to mount a spare tire. That's a very valuable thing to have because if you blow a tire, you're gonna be, you're gonna wanna be able to change it yourself so you're not waiting on a tow truck. And now this is the passenger side of the RV where you see there's a nice ladder right out the back to access the roof if you wanna put some solar panels up there. Also one more storage compartment right here. And this is actually passed through all the way to that other storage compartment that we saw on the business side. Working our way down, they got a beautiful awning up top, nice to create shade. This is gonna be one of their higher end models and that's why the inset lighting you'll see underneath the awning is there, creating a nice ambiance at nighttime. Also speakers mounted on the outside for entertainment purposes. And then a great addition in this Grand Surveyor is that they have an outdoor kitchen with a griddle and a fridge. What this kitchen outdoors does and what this awning does is really creates an additional room outside of your RV. You're taking the RV out so you can go camping. You wanna be part of nature, you wanna be involved in nature. So this awning and outdoor kitchen area, outdoor entertainment system really allows you to create that third room outside be able to get out in nature, spread out a little bit and not feel cramped inside the RV. So very cool touches that they've really taken the extra step to make this a high-end travel trailer great for families. Now, while the outside has some cool amenities and features, what I'm really excited to show you is the interior of this unit. I think you're gonna really like it and see that it's great for family use, so come on in. As soon as you walk in this Grand Surveyor, there are two main seating areas that you see. There's a nice couch right here with an armrest in the middle. This actually breaks down into a bed that you can sleep at least one person on, two maybe if they're kids. And then you also have this very large dinette. And this dinette can probably sit five people comfortably and uh, you could get more on if you wanted to though. But the beauty of this dinette is that not only can a whole family eat here, this converts into a bed sleeping area as well. So you have two sleeping areas for the kids and uh, a completely separated master bed, which I'll show you in just a minute. Moving further into the RV, we'll see the kitchen. Now, one of the things I love about this kitchen is that it has this area right here. This is great for prepping food and uh, it actually is also the entertainment center. So there's a button right here. This will pop the TV up and down. And whenever it's down, it's convert that means you have so much extra counter space to work in the kitchen. A great design and a really nice use of space they did. T 
typical propane stovetop and oven, convection oven up top. We have a deep sink here, great for washing dishes or just storing dirty dishes. And uh, the sink also has this cover that comes over it. So you can create extra prep space if you want to. But with this prep space over here, I mean, we're working with a lot of counter space right now. Storage is pretty plentiful. You know, for an RV, this is not bad. We have two, three large storage compartments up top, but also we have a lot of storage right here. Now this is where like the pantry is gonna be, have these slide out doors, drawers, which makes it very convenient to access. So lots of storage right here in the kitchen. And the Norcold fridge, pretty good in size. So overall, the kitchen in this unit is a great selling point. So now we're in the bathroom. I'm standing inside the shower and I'm 5'10", I have, you know, a decent amount of space still. Someone up to six feet could feel pretty comfortable in here. Decent room to spread out. Um, so good shower overall. If you're working 6'2 or higher, you know, you're gonna have a problem with most RVs and this one you might have some limitations when you get up to 6'3". But uh, otherwise, standard toilet, nice sink area. The one thing about the bathroom though is that it's in the middle of the RV. So you have to walk through the bathroom to get to the master bedroom. The reason I like this is because it gives more separation and privacy to the master bedroom. If you're separated from the kids, that's nice. The downside would be that in the master bedroom, you'll always have to walk through the bathroom to get to the living area. Pros and cons, whether you want the privacy and the separation and a little more peace and quiet back here, and you know, walking through the bathroom could be a challenge if you hit it at the wrong time. So that's, uh, it's an interesting design though, and I like this bathroom in the middle. All right, so now we're in the far rear of the RV and this is the master bedroom. It's uh, definitely spacious enough. It has a nice walking area around both sides. One of the things that I really like that they thought out well was that there's like a little desk table or a little nightstand by each of these uh, bedsides. So if you have a cup of water, if you wanna set your phone down to charge it, it's something that's often overlooked whenever RVs are manufactured that the functionality really helps like that there's actually functionality, but these nightstands really will be to your benefit. Olivia and I struggled all the time with finding where to put things next to the bed. And so these nightstands will solve the problem. A lot of storage on either side and up above for clothes. I think you'll definitely have enough for an extended trip, you know, got a lot of natural light as well with three different windows. It's a nice size bedroom. It's got the privacy with that bathroom as the buffer. This RV is gonna be great for newbies where they don't have to sacrifice the life of sticks and bricks whenever they get into an RV, they can still be comfortable. And that's what's really important if you're new to RVing. You don't wanna just throw yourself in there and uh, not enjoy the trips you take out because you don't have the amenities that you need. I think this delivers a nice balance of amenities and functionality. I appreciate you looking around this RV with me today. It's fun to explore and to see what manufacturers are putting out. Big shout out to Forest River for bringing us here to see these units and thank you for joining me today. See you later.